Hi everyone, this is Jeff. Um, this is my second set of solos. Uh, I did this at uh, Somerville Airport in South Carolina. It's a uh, Delta Yankee Bravo. And here goes the first one. Um, this one was kind of an interesting uh, set of solos because there was a Piper Archer. They were doing the, uh, or the guy in there was doing a, uh, a banner tow. And you might be able to see the pylons over on the right side, uh, over on the grass. So during this whole time, or most of the time he was doing the uh, he was doing the the pickups he's kind of like running an inside track and i was just going outside the pattern normally it was kind of a gusty day today uh they right as soon as i got about uh about 150 to 200 feet off the the end or uh off the runway i get the strong uh, uh gusts or breezes from the uh the right side um a lot of this will be uh, fast forwarded uh, you the, a lot of the pattern work, but uh, like once I go uh, to the crosswind, uh, then it'll go, it'll go fast. Um, the the note, the, the audio, the radio audio. Uh, what happened on the my GoPro? I forgot uh, when I was getting it all set up uh, back at Charleston. I think I uh, pulled the uh, the audio part out, so uh, it was there was enough connection in there to keep it quiet but or to, to accept the input but not enough microphone to 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 do it uh i found a, a, there's been a, some complaints on that cord that i got but it, it seems to be working fine on the on my next set so here we go fast around the pattern and in the subsequent uh pattern work it uh, the sun really gets in my eyes and uh one other thing is i'm sorry about the all the bugs on the uh on the windshield uh should have washed those off before we got going, but uh, we we're in a bit of a. We wanted to get going pretty quickly. And when you when you look at the windshield, it doesn't look that bad through your eyes because you're essentially looking through it. Um, out, out, you're focusing outside the window. But here it was uh, it, with the GoPro. It looks kind of uh, gross. So here I am on my my fourth solo landing or my first one of the day, and. Uh, I think I'm getting. Uh, I, I think I'm. I think I think I'm better than I am at landings because uh, a couple of these I did a uh, porpoising on. But uh, nice thing is, walked away from them all, or at least. So here we are with the displaced threshold and right down. Just past the numbers on on uh, runway six. The interesting thing about this runway, that which I haven't seen, is we just passed that. Is uh, it looks like they extended the runway out, and so there's two sixes to to pick from. And here we are going around. There's the ramp, and we see the sun's coming down a little bit more now. And uh, here we go on the second takeoff. This one, uh, I think uh, I remember when I got up. This was about my fifth fifth or sixth takeoff of the day because we did some short field and uh, soft field work earlier uh, before this this one uh, went up, or before I recorded these ones. Uh, one of the things I do is when I talk to my instructors is that I uh, let them, or let, ask them about the GoPro and uh, all my instructors have been pretty good about it. Uh, one of them, he was more of a, uh, you know, keep, keep all the, uh, Keep all the fancy stuff out of the airplane until you're until you're good. But the thing is, what I do is when I get these videos, I watch them to learn what I did right, what I did wrong, and what I need to work on. So uh, it's a for me, it's a learning tool, and uh, just it's kind of fun to, to share this learning with with you guys on YouTube. So. And Somerville Airport is way north of Somerville. I've taken off from here before uh, when I did a flight up to uh, Columbia. And a Cessna with a flight instructor, first flight with a flight instructor. It was kind of a kind of a fun flight because I had my friends with, or had one of my friends with me too. He, he's already a pilot.
think I bounced this one. No, this is the one I went short on, or uh, not short, but uh, uh, landed shortly, or in a, sh not shortly, but I am landing shortly, but uh, got it down, and then I put the brakes on, and I'm going to have to work on this, because I seem to always be uh, landing on the left side of the runway. Uh, maybe I'm British. So... And I was trying to see if I can get off the runway on the first exit. Uh, this was not really a short field, but it was. Uh, uh, it just kind of turned out uh, that it, I noticed I put it down pretty much right on the uh, right on the six, and decided to keep going. Call my, that I'm clear, and I'm doing my uh, post landing checklist, and then I'll get going. Some music in here. So as I was pulling up to the the, the whole short line, the archer said he was coming in for a landing, so I uh, waited for him, and here he comes. And there he is. That thing was fun to watch. It would just dip down, uh, pick up the, the um, pick up the, the banner. It's, it's, there wasn't a real banner that he was picking up, but uh, and then it was like a dive bomber that's going down and then pulling up. So he'd be flying straight, dip down, pull up, and then uh, and then he'd he'd pop back up to you know 100 feet, 150 feet, 200 feet, and then he'd just go back around and do it again. And here we go up again. And you'll see, right as soon as I clear the trees, it's, you'll see the, the, the airplane get pushed right about there. I gotta turn into the wind. And I'll quickly go around the pattern. Yeah, that, this last one, the, there's a, one time, I was having to look out the side of the airplane to make sure I wasn't uh, flying blind. Because if I was looking straight out, I would uh, I wouldn't be able to see anything. And this one is the one that I porpoised. Uh, you can see the balance. And I could have sworn I could have seen him off in the about the uh, about the two o'clock position. He was coming in and doing his uh, pickup. But. Uh, for some reason, the camera didn't get it, or I might have been imagining it. And then right there, off to the right, you can see those two pylons. That's what he was picking up from. And that's it for the uh, second set of solos. And thank you for watching. And go ahead and leave me comments if you want to.